So after what was a pretty insane round two of uh, WRC Academy, let's uh, one, check out the new paint that we unlocked. Where, where to go? Where to go? Oh, here it is. Gold. It was auto purchased since it was a uh, sponsor thingy. Thingy Bob. Bob. Alright, I don't think. No, I can't sign with any or negotiate with any more sponsors because my PR skill is too low. And we're not going to get any more clientele until level 40, I think. Yeah, level 40. They're almost there, but, you know. We can, however. Uh, do some more R&D on our recently acquired pretzel. Exactly what I'm going to do. Do the gearbox and the brakes. I think these only cost a thousand credits. <laughs> so, do that. Then I think I don't need to do anything livery-wise because the next event is a WRC wildcard event means we'll probably be uh, using one the uh, whatever WRC team we are currently negotiated with or signed to or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Anyways, the Acropolis Rally of Greece. Invitation to a wild card is a great opportunity to bring your abilities out. Don't miss it. Oh, fuck. Of course, my first WRC event is going to be at one of the new rallies, which means I'm scared. I'm terrified. All right, there it is. There's the Brazil mini countryman. Also, we don't even get to select our sponsor. We just have WRC sponsors. So we have three stages to do. I'm pretty sure I can do all three in less than 15 minutes. No cooling damage. It's fine. So uh, without further ado, let's just go. Uh. Of four proper minis, I know, right? It's crazy. So, time for our first rally event in a WRC car. Not counting the uh, the prologue and the fucking the rally school. Excuse me. Well, here we, here we go. Rally of Gods. <clears throat> In a goddamn mini. I can only make so many stakes for so long. Oh, my wheel is not straight. <laughs> well, I don't know why my front tires were at an angle. It's because my wheel wasn't straight. Alright, attempt three. Let's try to, like, have that little pace I was gaining in that second attempt, except without all the crashing. The just constant crashing. And rolling of my car and flying off of the road and shit. It's amazing how smooth the handbrake slides are on this car. Like, holy fuck. That was my best Sector 1 yet. Break correctly. Oops. That was also a little awkward. But the P4. I guess. Uh. 
I'm actually remembering to slow down the car before, like, as I'm approaching the turn and not in the turn. So there's that. Now if I can just remember to, to keep remembering to do that. The S hairpin. Instant switchback. Alright, only lost a couple tenths to a uh, soul bird there. I definitely, uh. Has not gone over my head that I'm fighting with the big boys now, just all of a sudden. Oh, well, that's not good. Alright, need a strong finish to this stage. Oh. And the game really lags there. Don't know why, but it do. I was gonna say, where'd the, hair, the hairpins go? <laughs> they were everywhere and suddenly they were gone. And we made it. Oh shit, I won the stage. Let's go. Alright, well that's, uh, that's one way to uh, improve. Just win the fucking stage. Alright, so that was about a four second improvement over my last completed attempt. Some fucking new kid just wins the first stage in his WRC debut. The, the everything that happened in 2010 doesn't count. Oh yeah, Ke oh fuck, Kimi and uh, Blocker are still are here. That's right. Because Kimi did, I think, did select rallies in 2011, and Ken Block still did stuff. I guess. <clears throat> Got 21 drivers versus the 14 from last year's game. That's a uh, that's a big, big jump in field size. That's a 50% increase. Yeah, 2011 was when was basically Kimi just doing a bunch of different shit. That's when he did those couple NASCAR races. Still curious about what he's going to do now, if anything, now that he's out of F1. That'd be awesome. You know what would be cool? Seeing Kimi and Nitro Rallycross. I'd love to see that. Alright, so. Fix the car. It is extremely dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but we are leading this rally, so uh, let's go to Pissia 2. I feel like being a second behind Loeb going into the last stage is probably not the best of uh, ideas. So we're just going to give this another try, and then if I can get a slightly better result here, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> Move on to the final stage, and I guess just fucking trial and error our way through that. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. There's a lot of bumps here. Hang on, let me just break the engine. I am driving very poorly right now. This is not a good attempt. that one because of the road. God damn it. I always fucking forget that that's actually like tighter than I think it is. 
but I fucking always just overshoot and then cut the next corner, like, unintentionally. <clears throat> Luckily, it kind of, my mistake actually kind of does me a favor, because I'm pretty sure it's faster, but... Fuck your fences. Alright, I remember this is a double apex this time. Ah, well. You see, the plan there was to use the ditch a little bit to help my car rotate. <clears throat> um, that was the wrong kind of rotate. <laughs> I rotated along the wrong axis. This section is very awkward because of the embankment and the loose dirt and gravel being uh, not particularly grippy. This turn. Oh. Gotta approach that too quickly. This way. Come on, little mini. I say a little mini. I want a big mini. Because it's a big, big boy. Chicane is very tight. Flat to finish. A large lad, indeed. Okay, I'll take third. That should be more good enough set up for the final stage. It's the two Sebastians. One, two. Well then. Well, we finally made it past stage two. We're actually leading the rally this performance by a second and a third over Loeb. I'll take that. I just realized because now that the uh, WRC field's way larger, it's going to be more difficult for Kimi and uh, Ken Block to score points. Fug. Gonna have to whittle them on just a little bit more to score points. All right, final stage. Clinia Mc. I don't fuck. This rally. This rally's hard, by the way. <laughs> by that stat alone, eleven stages, four wins. <laughs> yes. Shift like Need for Speed shift. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I kind of broke the front of the car during that stage. Just a wee bit. It's fine. Well, it's fine now. It wasn't very fine uh, at the end of the stage, but it's fine now. All right, let's take this dirty bitch. Stage three. Let's see if I can win this rally. All right, let's try that again. So, I gotta go at least five seconds faster in this stage. Considering how, like, sloppy that was, I'm hoping I can easily find that five seconds. I'm, we're not off to a good start. That was terrible. <laughs> so, away we go. Well, I'm already gone away, but, you know. You know what I mean. Slow down. Right three. Left two. 
please. Thank you. Oh, no. No roll car. Oh, fuck's that way knocked fuck out. Uh, does Mario 2 count, Tank? Because that was all a dream. Mario technically wasn't knocked out, but he was sleeping. Sort of counts. Sort of the same thing. It's the same, but different. Spooky, 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 spooky. God fucking damn it. There's also psychonauts where you actually go inside people, literally inside people's brains. Again, not necessarily knocked out, but the first half applies at least. Oh, well, you know what? That's my fault for trying to fucking change direction while holding on to the handbrake. I mean, I'm sure if Mario left the TV on, that, that would also influence the dream that is Mario 2. Be how dreams work sometimes. We. Oh fuck. A lot of rewinds. Eh. Eh. <laughs> By the way, because it's on my mind ever since I mentioned Mario 2, I really like how my favorite fucking, like, fucking M. Night Shyamalan twist, but that's not actually a twist, just story elements from the Mario franchise is the fact that Mario 3 is just a stage play. Like, the entire game is just a stage play. It's funny to me. I just love the fucking, just, the, uh... Like, the relationship. Or, the... I don't know what the fucking... I want to say dichotomy, but I don't think that's the right word. Just how, like, Bowser, like, genuinely wants to take over the mush Mushroom Kingdom. And, like, legitimately kidnaps Princess Peach, but he also fucking participates in, like, stage plays and shit and party games and all that kinds of shit with the gang. He's like evil. He's evil, but he's also a homie sometimes. Duality, actually, I think is what I'm looking for. Alright, P5. That might be good enough for the rally win. stage standings. Big minis. Four minis in the top six. Let's go. Countryman supremacy. Alright. Did I win? Yay, we won. Cool. I only took two tries. And a few rewinds. <laughs> but we got it. What's up, Steve? Hooray, we won the WRC... Wild card our, on our WRC debut. Hoo -hoo. Welcome back. Look at my large. Look at my big tiny. <clears throat> well, that's a shitty camera angle. Un 
Normally, the fancy still shots are actually really good. That one was really bad because of the fucking low-poly foliage in the way, in the foreground. Low-poly, uh, low-res, I meant. Oh. I don't know why, but there's something hilarious about Big Tiny. <laughs> Calling something Big Tiny is just comedy. Oh, I can't see. Right. Well, there we go. WRC wildcard. I like how the first WRC wildcard events on one of the craziest, toughest rallies in the game. AKA one of the new ones. This game don't yuck around. PP. Actually referring to my PP, but you know, whatever. If the uh, the cum sock fits. Hey, we got a new uh, paint and new livery. And new events. Ooh, we finally got the unlock the Evo 10. Sweet. And we got new contracts. Cool. Time to go broke. Alright. That's a lot of shit to fuck with. We also have our... our more of our R&D, or the rest of our R&D done with the Impreza. Okie dokie. 